Shalom, Kal Halal, Wahuwala, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha, Rechaha Kodash. Double honor goes out to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. Peace, blessings, and mercy to the Bayath, Shah Dawada, the House of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, beginning with the 144,000, the governing body. Adwan Ratazar, that is to say, Lord willing. So, Lord willing, this lesson is brief, quick, straight to the point. <clears throat> and uh, at the end of the lesson, hope you're edified. Okay. So, uh, this is from the people's voice, and <laughs> you know, we, we've warned you over and over again, man. All right. Okay. I came across this, right? And this was dated June the 26, 2024. All right. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And today, over here in England, it's Friday the 28th of June, all right? And uh, you can see the headline, Furious, and I'll use code words, of course, because, you know, on YouTube, that's very sensitive, all right? These devils will strike your page for saying certain terms. We know what we're talking about, all right? So the headline says, Furious Maxed, all right? Those who got the C19 stuff, all right? Furious Maxed are blaming the unmaxinated for their health problems. Why didn't you warn us? And that's in quotes. Okay, <laughs> and uh, honestly, you know, you can only blame yourself, really, all right? You should never have trusted in the modern-day pharaoh, E, all right, the so-called W-H-I-T-E, man, all right? You should never have trusted in your current slave master, in your oppressor, okay? <clears throat> Scripture mentions envy not your oppressor and choose none of his ways, okay? You should never consult, consented to this man, to this devil, because he does not have your best interests at heart, at heart, all right, excuse me, okay, most of our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, true children of Israel, all right, the Lord's chosen, all right, we went down to Egypt for help, man, instead of, instead of consulting the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, all right, it says, as the vaccinated population faces the disastrous health consequences of the fill-in-the-blank vaccine rollout, one question is becoming more common. Why did the unvaccinated not play a more proactive role in alerting the world to the risks associated with the experimental, you know what, vaccines? And there's been many things, many truths out there, all right? There's been many, you know, you had people, you know, like David Icke and other people that were talking against it, all right? <clears throat> We've even silenced certain people for promoting the vaccines, all right? Well, that's for those who promote it. Okay, but really, you know, they were on the case of those that, you know, were against it. But I told you not to take it and things like that. All right. <clears throat> you see? Think about it. Something that's in a lab that these things, you remember, they take years and years and years to develop and manufacture and a lot of research goes into it. It's not just done overnight. And to go and take something that's not, you know, Stable, you know, really, you got to be foolish, and now you're suffering the consequences for it, man. According to an op-ed by a fully vaccinated author, the unvaccinated have the blood of the vaccinated on their hands. Wow, okay, because the unvaccinated knew what we didn't and didn't do enough to warn the world about the dangers of. <laughs> okay, let's just go down a bit. According to the author, most vaccinated people, including himself, are expected deep regret about taking the vaccine and are developing a sense of rage directed at the unvaccinated for not doing more to warn them. And really, it was all in the hands of the Lord of as who was going to take it and who wouldn't. All right. Now, this you can repent of, okay, if you're an Israelite, because this is not the RFID micro see him, okay, and we warn our people not to take that, okay. This whole vaccine thing, this, that L down that took place some years ago, see, that was a test. All right, for you sheeple out there, for you masses, and many of you failed it, okay? Many of you failed it. So, you know, <clears throat> this is obviously causing a lot of division and things like that, all right? Remember in the book of Sirach, he said, never trust thine enemy, all right? And a lot of people, that a lot of our people, and you heathens too, man. You know, you, you look to E for, you know, for, for comfort, for uh, stability, for security, right? You look to him as, as if he's a god, 
right? Okay, we know Satan's the god of this world, right? And he's in the power seat, right? Ruling in wickedness under the spiritual demon Satan, right? <clears throat> but at the same time, right? There was meant, you know, there was research you could have done, you know, a lot to, you know, look into things, okay? Instead of just blindly following the, the masses, all right? <laughs> a lot of people did that just took it and, you know, followed the multitude to do evil. All right, just went and took it. But if you, if you told those people about the herbs, they ain't interested. All right. See, when things are popular, that's why most people go for it. But the unpopular thing is, is that people ignore that. All right. And this caused a lot of division, you know, amongst family members and things of that nature. You know, that took it. All right. All this social distancing. Okay. Um, there's a term that they used. You know, those who were crit was it critical? You had your key workers and the, those who were crit you know you couldn't go near those ones who, you know, were critical health condition, I think, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. Okay. If you're more susceptible to get it, you know, if you're elderly or you know, you got a weaker immune system, maybe young people, things like that. All right, can't remember. But really that was, you know, again. Like a, a prelude, you know, to the to the RFID micro C hip, which is to come. All right. So this is Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty four, and this is what Yahushai said. Okay. And this is what he's gonna do. All right, verse thirty four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And a sword is a killing instrument representing destruction, and that's what the Lord is, you know, coming back to do, man. Okay, you go to Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, For behold, Ha'adawan Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, will come with fire and with his chariots, like a whirlwind, okay, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, so we're coming back in, you know, a chariot, man. All right, so called UFO, as the world calls it. All right, a conquering line of Judah, man. All right, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord. Plead, meaning judge with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, so many are going to be put to death. Simple as that. Okay. So he ain't coming, you know, you know, and, and, as, as a, you know, lamb this time. He's coming back as, as an angelic, powerful, vengeful force. Okay. Go to verse 35, Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Again, we'll read it. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. And yeah, Christian church, they don't really want to hear that, do they? <laughs> All right, and it reads, verse 35, For I have come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. The Lord has come to split families up, man. Okay. It's come to do that. You know, and a, a lot of people couldn't agree. A lot of family members couldn't agree with each other. Okay. So how much more the MOTB? Okay. What happens if you, you've got family members that say, hey, you know, go ahead and just take the digital all. Take take the MOTB, man. We need, we need to eat and things like that. You know, just put the Bible stuff down. Just, you know, don't bother with that. What are you going to do? You're going to fold? Are you going to keep the faith? You're going to, in your how about you, Okay. You know? Variance. Cut into two parts, cleave asunder, sever. That's right. That's what the Lord come to do. Right? Within the family household. Alright. <clears throat> now you know the Lord, you know, if <clears throat> if you're part of the elect, you know, you, scripture mentions, you know. You know, your, your household, you know, your children, your wife, all right, may be saved, okay? But it depends on the will of the Lord, all right? Verse 36, and a man's foes, foes the enemies, shall be there of his own household, okay? You can have, you know, family members giving giving up each other, all right? Oh, you know, my my, my son is, is involved in, in this Israelite thing, all right? Turn you over to the police, 
stuff like that okay don't want nothing to do with you speak ill of you all right you saw a little glimpse of these things man with the with the maxine you know and now look you got the people who are fury who are, because they regret it now you see you know but i bet when you told them the first time not to take it they were like nah you're wrong man i'm taking this i'm taking this maxine you're wrong and they probably looked at you for you know as as if you were in the wrong furious at you at that time warning them not to take it and now they're mad at you for taking it when you warned them not to you see all right so how much more the motb all right because you're not going to be able to buy or sell all right you're going to be if you don't consent and take that digital all you're going to be basically you know stripped away from those those benefits you have in, in this digital society that they're setting up okay all right you're not going to be able to buy or sell you're not going to be able to travel and and the uh, pay for things at the grocery store all right if you don't take that c hip all right